Hi everybody, Liz and Annie here. Annie, I have more questions for you about how on earth to use Canvas to get going with my teaching this quarter. So one thing I've been trying to figure out and I hope you can help with is how to get my students in my class, because I'm teaching a big large enrollment class this quarter, to see the announcements that I post about the course content on Canvas. So can you walk us through how to make sure that students are receiving those announcements without necessarily having to log into Canvas and look at them? Yes, absolutely I can. So let me bring up my Canvas page. So I've already logged into Canvas as uh, we've talked about previously. So to do this, you need to make sure that your students, um, and this is on their end, so all of your students have to go in and do this or make sure that this is enabled for them to get their announcements pushed to their email instead of just showing up in Canvas. So um, they need to log in and then they need to go to their account over here where their little profile picture will appear if they've uploaded one. And you'll see this window open with a bunch of options. They're going to want to go to notifications or you're going to want to show them that they need to go to notifications, perhaps on day one of the class or something like that. So hit notifications and then you'll get um, this window brought up where you'll see or the students will see their um, UCR email over here and then they'll see a bunch of icons that tell them whether their notifications are turned off if it has the slash through it or if they're turned on uh, with the green bell icon. And so they can enable all sorts of different alerts to be pushed to their UCR email. But for announcements in particular, you just want to make sure that, of course, the announcement column right here or announcement row is is what has notifications turned on and set to notify immediately so that those emails appear as soon as um, you are posting announcements. Students have other options too, like they could get a daily summary from all of their Canvas stuff or a weekly summary, but I just tell them to do notify immediately so they're seeing all of them as soon as they're coming up in the class so they don't miss anything. Um, and that's really all there is to it. They can choose the rest of the announcements, uh, notifications as they like, but for um, announcements in particular, they should have this enabled. Um, so I usually show them this as part of the day one, you know, course orientation things, uh, just to make sure everybody's on the same page. So um, that's how you do it. And then how it gets received on the student end might be different depending on what you're trying to show them. And so I understand you've had some, some issues with that. Do you wanna tell us about that? Yeah, I've discovered the hard way what not to do with sending course announcements out to like a really big class. So my strategy this quarter, so I'm teaching an intro class that has 600 students in it. And you know that because you're enrolled as a student in my Canvas site, so you can see everything that's happening. So my strategy is to send out a weekly announcement at the beginning of the week when I release that week's module for all the course content Monday morning that details what are students supposed to do where are they supposed to look for things? When are things due? And the rhythm is the same across every module, but I'm still posting this reminder in case anything else comes up that I want to touch on. In week three, I did this by recording a video of myself talking through it, and then I created an announcement for my entire class. So I, I blasted this out to 600 students and all the TAs that was meant to be an attachment of the video announcement. And the text I included was relatively brief. So I don't know, Annie, if you want to pull that up and show everybody how this landed when people receive this in their email, which is not how I intended the message to go out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there was supposed to be a video here with all of the details, but all I ended up getting was have a great week three, which was motivational, but not informational. Right. So. Not, not very helpful to just be like, okay, guys, good luck. Bye. <laughs> like, have fun this week. Yeah. Uh, so in week four, what I tried to do was attach the video file a little differently and also include contextualizing text that said, Make sure you watch this video update about all the stuff to do this week. So do you have that one there too? Yeah, okay. it's right here. This is showing up. Okay. Yeah. So that one worked a little bit better and you could see the video file as an attachment. So it was more obvious that you were supposed to take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for this one, right, if students want to see the video, they can just click this link and it actually downloads the file to their computer. But at least this way they know it exists. And if they don't want to download it, they know to go to Canvas and log in and watch the rest of the video. So. Um, just be aware of how Canvas is delivering your announcement messages because it might not attach your files sometimes if you embed them versus if you do a specific attachment. So Yeah, and I heard from zero students about that questioning if there were other updates I was prepared to share, which makes me think that my students in that class do not have the announcements enabled that push to their email. So I'm going to make sure my TAs are telling people about that this week. Okay, well, thank you for helping me with that and answering that question. No problem. We'll be back soon with more videos.